Hi, my name's Tim from Ducati, and we're here at the Bike Shed 2019. Really pleased to be here with Henry Crew, who on this bike did a circumnavigation of the globe, the youngest ever circumnavigation of the globe. 23 years old, 363 days, 55,000 miles. Henry, tell us. Yes, yeah, so I've been back for about a month now, and uh, broke the world record, youngest person to ride a motorcycle around the world on the uh, Ducati Desert Sled, which, uh, yeah, an incredible experience. So when you came to our offices you to pick this bike up, you'd never ridden never a Ducati, ridden a Ducati before. before. Right. And you went off in the snow yeah. on this epic adventure. Yeah. How did that feel? Um, pretty sketchy, to be honest. It wasn't the, per the perfect weather to be riding a bike home. When I picked it up, it was the, the only weekend it snowed in England that year, I think. Um, but amazing, it was in, and I think it's incredible to see the bike now, just the quality of the parts and everything, like the spokes are still glistening underneath the, the road grime, but yeah, it's uh, a quality machine and I'm very happy that I got to do How it on do this bike. How do you feel about the bike now? I still love it, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, well, even my bum's like moulded into the seat, oh, okay. so yeah, it uh, fits like a glove. Well, I tell you, I was watching the coverage, some of the coverage as you went around the world, and I think it was absolutely epic. Really pleased you're Thank here you. with us. Oh, you're very welcome. So, if we move on a little bit, going a little bit more standard, we've got the Monster 821 here. It looks standard, it's the 821 Stealth, a new bike. Monster's been an icon for 25 years and more, and we wanted to bring one along, accessorised bike, uh, it's got a lot of carbon parts on it. It's a new 821 Stealth, great city bike. So that's, that's just here as a point of reference of the bikes that we're making day to day, loved by customers around the world. So we'll move on. This is uh, a bike based off a 749. Uh, we, we added it to the display just recently. It's curated, of course, by the bike show for us. Beautiful bike. Uh, displaying what you can do with one of our older sports bikes, turning it into a, a more urban bike. Okay, moving along. Ant's going to join us in a minute to talk about this bike, which is a Scrambler 1100 originally, turned into a bike that he's going to do some hill climbs on. Ant, are you ready to, to talk? You need to come and talk to me about this bike that you've made, this beautiful bike. Well, first of all, are you, do you like the bike, Tim? I love the bike. It's a, uh, it's, you know, when you kind of commission something, you're never quite sure how it's going to turn out, and you have to take a leap of faith. And so, coming along here tonight and seeing the bike, it looks aggressive, it looks fun, it looks, uh, it looks quite horny, really. It does. It, well, obviously, you know, it's not finished. I couldn't finish it in time because obviously, you know, that we're building it for a TV show. Yeah. Um, and there's a process, so. In the show, I have to. They film me building all the bike all the way through, and if I would have finished it for you for the show, I would have had to sand all the lovely paint off, rip the cover off the yeah. seat, tear it all back down, and then redo it again. But it's other than brake lines and, and and paint, it's pretty much ready to go. Um, but you haven't ridden it yet. I haven't ridden it yet. But how I much? Am, how much are you looking forward to? It? I am. Well, look at it. It just screams, wheeling me down the street, doesn't it? It's, it, it does. This, well. As we agreed, we, we designed it and built it for hill climb race. Yeah. Um, British hill climb. British hill climb. On tarmac. On tarmac, not on dirt. Yeah. As I thought we wanted it. <laughs> when he said build a hill climber, I said, okay, great. Big long swing arm, paddle tire, up a, up a dirt hill. And then after a few conversations, we realized, no, you wanted a road hill yeah. climber. So, um, so I redesigned it a little bit. and. Uh, it's pretty much there, you know, the, the design is done, um, it's just finishing now, so I am so looking forward to ride this bike. We're definitely, definitely going to come and watch you ride this yeah, bike. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm dying to. I've got my new leathers, airbag yeah. race suit, all okay. custom made, ready to rock. Revit have kind of hooked me up with that. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm raring. To ready to go. Bike. I can't wait to ride it. Cool. Well, over there, we've got the bike that it kind of started out as. So let's, we're going to go over there and take a look at some of the standard bikes. Awesome. Thank you, Hans. Cheers. Cheers. So here we've got 
the bike that Henry Crew set out with. Now the biggest difference between this and the bike that Henry Crew was riding is that this one's clean. Um, you can see uh, fresh out of the box Ducati Desert Sled. This one's completely standard as it stands here and uh, this was basically what Henry set out on just over a year ago to ride around the world. And we're going to move on again if we can to the Scrambler 1100. So this 1100 is actually a bit of a, a bit of a match. Our press garage, the famous Jinx, has put this one together. So we have, and I'll be honest, I forget which way round it is, but the tank off of a special, Scrambler 1100 special. It's based off the standard bike, so the standard bike uh, swing arm, which is black, and wheels, and with a lot of accessories. But this is the bike that was originally uh, turned into what Anthony over there has built uh, as, the, as the hill climb. So the 1100 turned from this into the bike we saw over there just a minute ago. And now, maybe the most special of the lot, and here's, and here's a, a man who had a lot to do with it. What Should we stand this side of this we'll bike? We'll stand this side of it because we want to put that down. I was just looking at wheels and exhaust that might go on. Yeah. So, Dutch, we got a full throttle Scrambler 800 here. Yeah. Which is whose? This is Vicky's, and she hasn't seen it yet. And which is brilliant. One of the motivations was that you wanted something actually that was going to be reliable and, and actually up together, right? Well, I mean, Vicky, she's. Vicky's got a Sport Classic, yeah. so she loves the V-Twin. You've both loves got a Sport the, yeah, Classic, I've got, right? I've, got, I've got one. I had two, but then somehow she ended up with one. Okay. Don't ask me how that happened. Some These transgression happen. on my part. But, you know, we, we're both really big fans of the L-Twin engine and the, and Ducati's Floatar boat. She needed something that was going to be a proper sort of rip-roaring town bike that she could just hoon around London on. And when we saw the full throttle, it was kind of pretty much done. Yeah. It wasn't really like we, we didn't want to customise any of the bodywork or the engine or the way the bike worked. We just wanted to make it suit Vicky's style. Obviously, loud pipes was a big part of it. And in fact, they've got little hey, big noise written on them, which is Vicky's. Let, let, let people know you're coming. Exactly. It's very important. Yeah. Very important safety feature. But the bike's brilliant. It's flickable. It's got really nice power, really well specced out. And it's, it's got a perfect look for Vicky. It's a lovely looking thing. And. Uh, yeah, just, just ready to use kind of as it is. Yeah, I mean, we we had a lot of help from Fast Tech and a few other people and uh, had paint done. And, and But really, it's it's a full throttle. It's not a million miles away from the standard bike and it's all the better for it. So yeah. um, I can't wait for Vicky to actually notice that it's here. Yeah, notice I it's understand. Her bike. She hasn't actually no. seen the bike yet. No, she hasn't. That's so, insane. Yeah. Everything that's going on, you have her bike waiting here and she's got to come over and see She's it. just too busy you know, running around That's being in charge of things. And then it's almost like a Christmas present. When when the dust settles a little, she can come and take a look at her brand new bike that's specially customised for her. Yeah. Beautiful to go away. And I get Beautiful some brownie to, points. You get some brownie so points. So that's really what it's all about. Yeah. Try and get well, it's a real, real, real pleasure to be here at Bike Shed 10th anniversary show with us loving loving being here, loving working with you, and you love your L twins, so we, all works we love well. it. For, for us the, the fact that um, that you guys play a part in the show every year is really important because you know it started out as a real kind of custom show about this creative culture that was all about personalising bikes. And then when the manufacturers started to get on board, some people kind of moaned about it and kind of said, isn't it rubbish that now bike builders are building bikes that look like the bikes we customise? And I'm like this is the best thing in the world and yeah. ultimately if you guys aren't building bikes like this we've got nothing to ride and for those people yeah. that can't customize a bike why shouldn't they have some fun too and this show really is for all those people that but it all wanna... starts with people manufacturing motorbikes and then people individualizing them yeah taking what was standard and, and be it adding some accessories from the catalog or painting a different color or, or going to a builder 
it all starts from building motorcycles yes. and we're all, for want of using a better phrase, we're all in it together, right? Absolutely, yeah. And so, yeah, I think it, it makes perfect sense to me and yeah. it's beautiful. You walk around the show and there are beautiful Ducatis, beautiful bikes from all manufacturers. And so why wouldn't we be here? I think it's, I think it's great. It's a great vibe as well, by the way. Yeah, good crowd. Yeah. Good crowd, good fun and soon it'll be time for beer. It is beer o'clock.